Are you a coach and are you struggling to get clients? Well, if you are, today you're in luck because I'm going to share with you five tips or five steps on how you can get more clients. Hey, I'm Mark Nelson, a former high school teacher and turn coach. Right? I was coaching all my life with coaching kids. I just turned this coach a different group of people. Very excited I did. So the five tips steps see when every person starts out coaching the biggest challenge is one you need to learn how to coach how to be present how to ask the right questions and how to get inside your customers or your clients mindset so you can help them out but the biggest thing if you want to be a coach you have to get coaching clients so the first tip is one you need to get into the right audience, right? It, it, one, they, they need to have a willingness to be coached, and not everybody wants to hire a coach. I know when I, I hired my first two coaches, I was looking because I was struggling. It was in business. I wasn't really looking for a life coach, but guess what? They helped me in my mindset, which was really what a life coach does. The second thing, when you talk about audience, they have to have a willingness to be coach or they know that coaching can help them. And then they have to be willing to pay money. If you look at the business world, all the top people have coaches. Sports people have coaches. I played college basketball. I always had a coach, always hired a coach. My kids played college basketball. We always hired coaches. One to let them have a different insight. Right? So... If you're trying to achieve a goal, coaching is where it's at. So being a coach, that's what you do is you take over. So you got to find the right audience, people who have a willingness to be coached and won't have the money for it. Two is you need to get in front of people. Now, it's kind of like the right audience, but you just need to get in front of them. So if you're doing social media, orga organic, Right? You need to get into Facebook groups, the right group. And you need to give them content or help them in what they're struggling with. And believe me, in any group, people are telling you what they're struggling with. Now, you don't go out and say, hey, well, here's a link. Let's set up a call. What you do is make comments. You know, give them free value, helping them. And showing your expertise. And this is right with the third one. It's you got to share the right content inside these groups. If you're a health coach, right, you need to be inside the health area that what you want to help with. If it's weight loss, you need to be in weight loss things. And then share value, free value. Share your expertise so they know you are the person that they can work with. The fourth one is you need to make an offer. Some people do it two ways, or it can be done two ways. Making an offer, one, is just getting on a strategy call, right? And whether it's brainstorming, strategy, discovery call, I call it brainstorming more than anything because I really want to do it. When you get on the calls, right, do a coaching session with them to where when they get off, they go, whoa. That was good. I just was helped today. That's the best way to do it is through a brainstorming call, my opinion, right? The same time when you're in social media, you have to know that you have a service to offer. So that it gets in their mindset that, okay, this dude, this girl is a coach and they can help me with my struggles. Now, the fifth one, is you need to show up consistently. And I was just in a coaching program. Believe me, I, I, one, if you're a coach, you need a coach. Um, I went through a coaching program with Eben Pagan. It's called the Virtual Coaching. And I got certified through it. But it, it was it was Evan and his wife, Annie, is an unbelievable program. I learned a ton. But what they did is they talked about having every day have a content hour and then have a client hour. The content hour is what I'm doing right now. 
I'm making a video. It's going to go on my podcast. I'm going to put out content for people. I did a Facebook Live in my group, and I'm going to make some posts. I do that for an hour. Now, I do different things every day, but that's what I do. I have a content hour. And then I have a client hour where I go into groups and I help people making comments, putting out value. So I show up consistently. So every day I, I schedule a content hour. When I call it a content hour, it might be a half hour, it might be 15 minutes, but I, I, I'm making content every day. I'm searching for clients every day. And you need to do the same thing. You can do this. People are out there looking for help. Coaching is becoming a huge industry and people are looking for the right person for them. So again, the five tips or five steps is find the right audience that they're willing and they have money to spend. They're not afraid of spending money to get help. Two is you need to get in front of people. You can't sit in the background and thinking people are going to come to you. They aren't going to come to you. You have to get in front of them. Three is share the right content. Share your value, your expertise. Four is learn how to make an offer, whether it's a brainstorming call, or you just have to let people know that you are a coach and you can help them. And then five is show up consistently. Consistently. Hey, I hope that helps. Again, I'm my name is Mark Nelson. If you'd like to do a brainstorming call, I want to put the link below, but it's marknelsononline.com forward slash schedule your free call or schedule a free call. I'll put the link in it. That's the easiest. I got to make it a little easier than that. So anyway, y'all take care and we will talk soon.